Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the greatest day today. I am so excited to start my very first organizational project of the new year. Baby girl is with me. I know. I know, you got lots to say today. I know, you got lots to say. So I'm super excited to get into this. I have a whole bunch of stuff behind me that I need to go through. The whole point of me going through all of my makeup, sharing some things with you guys, but also doing like a declutter of all of it and organizing it is because this desk behind me is going to become my new makeup vanity. Um, this is where Melania's like makeshift nursery was in our room until she was about six months old. Now she's in her own room. So this is just like unused space. This desk I've had forever. Um, and then the nightstand as well, we are not using currently. So I wanted to make myself my own little like vanity, get ready area because it just gets crowded in our bathroom and when we're getting ready to like go out somewhere, I'm usually doing my makeup, Eric's in the shower and it just, we'd rather have our own space. So I'm going to be doing this vanity um, I'm in just repurposing things that I already have in the house. Um, I did buy a big lighted mirror though that's the only thing that i bought for this project but i know it's going to be it's going to take a minute to go through all the stuff that i have and organize it so that will probably be the first portion of the video and then i will do the actual like vanity setup all that my brushes need to be cleaned like we got some stuff to do these are really the two bins that i need to like seriously declutter this is just makeup that i had that was not in my everyday makeup drawer I know there's a lot of stuff in here that has to go like this. It's got to go. That is so old. Um, and then this, this is all lippies, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, all of it. So, and I know that there's a good amount in here that needs to go as well. So I'm going to readjust the camera, zoom you guys in, and we are going to declutter some stuff. I'm going to start off with lipsticks because I know that there's some in the, they just have to go so the very first ones are these by lip sense i'll try to keep my hand in the frame um my girlfriend was selling these and of course i wanted to support her so i bought three colors um the remover and then two glosses and let me tell you if you want your lips to burn and be as dry as the desert this is it I, these are not good. They feel like you're putting straight alcohol on your lips. Um, the whole point is, Jesus, the whole point is like they don't come off your lips once you put on, which is why you need an actual remover to take it off. They are so drying, even with the glosses on, they are, they're just not good. And they're old. They're so old, so they need to go. Get my little garbage bag here. Um, these Buxoms, I do really like Buxom. Um, this was like a set that all of these came in and they are just, they're old. So they, th these need to go. There's a few different color. I think there was like five or six of them. Um, two, four. So there's six here. These just have to go. They're old and I don't, I just don't reach it. They're very sticky and that's what I don't love about them. Um, but yeah, those, oh. Those are two, four, six, yep. Yeah. So those have to go, um, I should just dump this out. All right, so that's, this is gonna be the keeping bin. All of my pencils are staying. Those, I will keep all of those. I get a ton of lip liners from um, BoxyCharm, which I love because it's just not something that I buy very often. And as you can see, a lot of them are mattes, which is my color. Like that's typically what I stick with. <laughs> Melania is freaking out. I put in Kanto on for her. So hopefully she'll like rock herself to sleep and she's freaking out in a good way. Um, this Lawless Forget the Filler, that's new. So I'm going to keep that. This Stila is so pretty, keeping that. I have two of these NARS pencils or like the thick, whatever, I don't know, whatever they are. Velvet matte lip pencil. These I do love. Those are staying. I have two House Labs. Um, this is Lady Gaga's line. Where's the other one? I ordered two of them on Amazon and I do really like these as well. They're the same thing. They're just like lip crayons. 
they're really pretty. I don't use them often, but I do like them. These Bite Beauties are really good too. This baby girl is just not going to take a nap. It's a matte cream lip crayon. And it's, I have two of the same color. It's just such a pretty color. I really want to swatch all these guys for you, but uh, I'm just going to make a mess if I do that. This is another one by Bite Beauty. This is in Chai, and it's just like a little sample that I got from something, but a really pretty color. Um, these Laura Mercier lip glosses are going to go. They are just old, and I don't love the color that much. Um, ooh, this was in a boxy charm, I think. It's a Tarte Maracuja um, Juicy Lip. Love, 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 love the texture of that. Marc Jacobs, one of my favorite lipsticks. Um, this is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, one of my all-time favorite colors. I have another Marc Jacobs lipstick. I have no idea where it is. I'm sure it's in a purse somewhere, but I can't find it. Um, this lip gloss is new. It is Andata organics. It's just a hydrating lip balm. That was from a boxy charm. This was also from a boxy charm charm Seraphine Botanicals. This is a really pretty juicy lip too. This Sarah Hap um, is a little bit older. I think I bought this when I was pregnant with Xavier, um, which was three years ago, but I've been wearing this at night because it is like just a great, I don't know, it, like I wake up and my lips still feel hydrated. Oh, Patrick Ta lipstick, not going anywhere. This is kind of a bright color for me, but it is so beautiful. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, just, be just beautiful. I, I have nothing more to say. They are, it's just like the perfect nude color. There's a regular gloss, like a glittery gloss, and the lipstick, um, it's just so beautiful. And then the liner is already in there. So those I'm definitely keeping. I do also have a Revlon. It's called Untold Stories. And that is a 100% dupe to that um, color. If I could find it. Oh my God. These are all newer Revlon colors. These were all on sale, which is why I bought all of them. So these I'm going to keep all of because they are new. Um, this is new. It's like a rose oil from a boxy charm. NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss, keeping that. This Sephora formula is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite lipsticks too. The color is 13. I don't even know if there's an actual like name for it, but it is like so pretty and they don't go anywhere. So I do have a couple of those. These two, I don't love. They're like very glittery, very in your face, um, but they're, they have their use for special occasions. This is new, the pharmacy honey butter that I love. Baby girl's back. <laughs> she is just not having it out there. All right, what else? We have NARS. These are beautiful as well. Um, they, I don't even know what they're called. I thought I had good eyesight and then you try to read this stuff, but those colors I do really like. This is one that came in my boxy charm. Um, it's by Uoma. Oh god, I'm probably not saying that right at all. You want a lipstick? Get it. Get it. Oh, it's a big girl. All right, we'll let you play with these. How about that? Oh. What do you think, big girl? So this is, oh, this is the brown one. I don't know that I will ever wear this, but it's there. Um, this Dior was given to me by my girlfriend, and she purple, but she beautiful, and it, it's old. I should get rid of it, but I'm not going to because the packaging is so beautiful. I have two... Melania, you are just too stinking cute. I have two Urban Decay ones, and as you can tell, they are both very crazy colors. This is the brightest, hottest pink ever, and I love it for the right occasion. And then there is this very dark purple. I'm really not getting rid of much here. Doing kind of a bad job. Um, this, these two, I don't think I love. They're the Melting Pout Mattes from CoverGirl. I don't think I like these, but I'm going to try them again. They are relatively new. Um, these Buxom that Melania is holding, this one is old, so I'm going to go ahead and toss that. 
This one is not so old, so I will keep that. Um, fresh sugar berry. This is a really nice, um, just like light. It's like a darker color, but it's kind of sheer, so it's not super crazy. I have some crazy reds. This is one. This is one. This is one. What are you looking for? You want that now? Oh, we're not so great at sitting up on our on our own yet. <laughs> She's good, but she doesn't always stay perfectly up. Um, so I do have some reds. I don't wear them often, but I am going to keep all of these because they're not super old. This one is one of my favorites. It's the Revlon um, Super Lustrous lipstick. But I'm telling you, it is the most beautiful color. But if you have to eat or drink anything, it's uh, it will transfer like crazy. Big girl, why it's a matter? Oh my goodness. Um, this Buxom is one of my favorites too, so I'm going to keep that. This Cover Girl, it is their, um, I think it's just called Cream Lipstick. That I do really like. This um, Rimmel London, I don't know what I bought this for, but it's not, it's not a color I would wear every day, but I haven't had it that long, so I'm going to keep it. And then I have two Macs that I got, um, which I don't wear often, but they are not expired i will say they're not super new this color is really pretty um and then this bare minerals i'm gonna keep melania and then these two oh this is from earth mama this is from when i was pregnant i will still keep that and then this is a sunscreen lip balm um salt and stone i will actually pack this when we go on vacation and then the one miss melania is holding is a burt's bees glossy is all it says in it the color is nude rain and this is really pretty i don't um reach for this very often but it's probably because this is all just like in here in a pile so that is it for the lipsticks now this i know we're going to be getting rid of a lot this starting off this Anast anastasia eyeshadow palette definitely going it's just old this is um, from my girlfriend from when she worked at Sephora. Super old. This, are you going to sit down nice if I put you down? You want to dig through there? Oh, what is all that? Um, this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer is super old. This <laughs> CoverGirl foundation is really old. This Tarte C um, concealer, also very old. I really feel like most of this is getting thrown out. This is a sample. There's two samples. Super old. Um, a lot of this stuff, again, this was just under my vanity and just didn't wear it. I got this Becca Cosmetics um, highlighter, and it's like this weird purpley green. It's like a duochrome almost. That's super old. That's going to go... Oh God, what is going to stay out of this? Probably not very much. Too Faced powder. My face is way too dry for powders anymore like this. That's going to go. Bobbi Brown powder. This is not, it's just so old. It's so old. This Bobbi Brown, what is this even called? Shimmer Brick Compact and Bronze. This I love. I'm actually going to keep this. I haven't worn it in a long time, but that I will actually keep. Big girl, now what are you looking for? You're just all over the place. You know? Oh, here. You take this. Um, this from Benefit Kaboom, the eyeliner or the cream gel brow. That's just super old. All of this is old. This, oh, this is really pretty. Makeup Forever. You gotta sit upright, sweetness. Um, let's see. You're gonna fall right over. <laughs> Melania, sit still. That's pretty. I'm gonna keep this. I know that this is a little older, but we'll see. And this is the thing. Like once I have all this makeup out, I'll see when I actually use it. Um, and if I do, great. If not, then I'll just get rid of it then. All right. That is the new one. This Kors um, primer. I did not like it all. It pilled all over my face. This Benefit High Beam Highlighter, I mean, it's literally separated in half, haven't touched it in forever. 
this Urban Decay color corrector, um, I usually, always used to like this on my under <sighs> eyes, but I haven't used it in a while. I'm gonna keep that though. This e.l.f. little black book, um, it is not a good formula. I don't like it, um, so it's gonna go. This is not my color. I bought this um, when I was much more tan and it's still there. I have another one somewhere. Is this it? Yeah, is that the same color? Oh my goodness, what? I don't even know if these are the same colors. No, 240 and 280. I'm gonna keep them and play around with them. This is very sad. Bare Minerals um, eyeshadow. Sweet girl, what do you want? I don't know what to do for you. These are so pretty, but the formula is just like, there's no color payoff in them. And I used it a couple times and they were just, just not good. I know, sweet girl. This Maybelline eyeshadow is at least 10 years old. It has it has to be, but it's still like, if I'm looking for a color, this is it. It's called Tastefully Taupe. It's like, oh, sorry, sweetie. It's such a pretty, like, taupey color. It's hard to see. Big girl, do you need to eat? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, big girl? I don't know why you would be so grumpy. This is a very old cream eyeliner. That's gotta go. What? This is not even open yet. What is this? I don't even know what it is, but I've had it long enough where, oh, it's a blush. Yeah, it's just a powder blush. Don't eat that. <laughs> and then this is uh, Benefit, what is it? Brow? So, it's a brow thing. Um, again, I don't use this, so that's gonna go. Hey, sweet girl. You are grumpy today. All right, should we go try to give you some milk? Is you hungry? All right, we're gonna go feed you and then we'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Baby girl is down for a nap. We'll see how long she stays. My uh, eyeliner sharpener. Um, this NARS blush, I don't think I've ever used and it's so pretty. So that I'm gonna keep. Um, this Makeup Forever high definition powder. I feel, nope, that's different. So this was just a sample I got from Sephora. I'm gonna keep that. This Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner is very old. That's going. This, oh my God, I don't even know how old that is. That's going. This Urban Decay um, single color So, I don't know if you can really see it. I just put a little bit on. It's so pretty, but again, I just, uh, I don't know if I should keep it or not. This is old. This is a very old sample of the um, eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. This color, same thing. It's old, but it's so good. I can't really tell. So pretty. I just don't ever use like the single shadows anymore. I'm gonna get rid of both of them. I they are old, and I just I need to do a better job with that. Um, this is also really old. Um, I love the colors in here, especially this one. This one's definitely the most used, but that's super old. And then this Revlon satin, also super old. It's like the theme. This gray, it's like a gunmetal. I use that for eyeliner. Um, for years. It was like, literally, I'll show you. My colors were this eyeshadow, and then I would use this as a, oh, I just dug my nail right into that. Um, and then I would use this as a liner, and they're super cool tones, which now I'm definitely more into warm tones. Um, this, I feel like I hated, but I don't remember. So I'm going, and again, it's definitely too dark. Early tan and warm golden. Warm golden would be closer than early tan, but again, for vacation, I will give them a try again. These Revlon um, quads, I don't know that I've like really ever even, yes, I have, because there's color on them. 
But like, why are they down here? Why have I, oh, the color payoff is non-existent. That's why. Well, that explains that. Those are going. Oh my God, my hands are gonna be all gross. This L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow is gorgeous. Now, this is, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of this. This is, like, talk about pigment. It is so pretty, like this is blinding. It's so hard to tell because my lighting is so goofy in here, but it is so pretty. I'm going to keep this for a minute. I know that it's older, but we're just gonna keep that for a minute. That's a brow brush, we're gonna keep that. And then these I know I got all on sale. These I do really like, um, but why do I have such dark colors? I must have got, I definitely got these classic tan. Yeah, so I used to wear classic tan when I was actually tan and not moon burned. So those I'll keep and see um, if I do anything with that. This is a very old pencil, which I just don't need. And then these two black liners are very old. Get rid of those. Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. Ooh, it's got SPF in it. I don't remember liking this or not liking it. So medium, light, medium. I definitely must have bought like all of these on sale when I like in the summertime when I was tan because it, they're just not my color. And then this Urban Decay Stardust is gorgeous. Um, it's very dark, but it has like chunks. It's, it's so hard to explain. Like it is a matte color, but it has like chunky glitter in it, but it's very sparse. I do love it, but I'm going to get rid of it because it's old. These palettes I have, I don't know why I have two of them. Um, they're both Urban Decay. The colors are pretty. I don't, again, it's one of those things I don't use often, but I do have them. This one, as you can tell, it is grungy and gross, and I do have two of them. Maybe they're in here. Well, actually, no, I think I only have two of this one. Um, but like, they're good colors, so I'm not gonna get rid of them just yet because I have problems, obviously, as you can tell. And then these, I didn't really love these. Maybe I just didn't use them right. They're shadow guards. Like you put them under your eye when you're um, applying makeup for fallout. Oh my God, is that everything? It is. There's so much that I, like just stuff in my everyday bins. Like I just, I don't think there's anything in there that I would actually get rid of. Um, like, I really just don't feel like I would. This Natasha Denona um, Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow is really disappointing. It's so beautiful, but you cannot put it on top of anything else because it just lifts the other product up. But it really is so beautiful and so blinding, but it is in like standalone product. You cannot use it with something else. Um, yeah, the rest of this is new. This is that other um, Trey Luce, Trey Lesse, whatever it is, palette um, that I was talking about. Look at how pretty those colors are. They're just like this one for my transitions shade is one of my favorites. They're just so pretty. So I think that's it. I think that is it. Oh, and this, also from Sephora, this little sample of a Natasha Denona um, eyeshadow is what made me fall in love with her. So that's why I love doing stuff like this because you just don't know. That's it. Um, all right. Ew, see? Yeah, as soon as you touch this, now, was it totally dry? No, but you cannot, it picks it up and gets really patchy. I love it so much, but you just can't, I mean, I guess you could just like rub it around, but I don't know. I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be back. I think we're going to wrap everything up here. I did get quite a bit of stuff. I will say that I'm going to be decluttering 
and I really is there more that I could be doing absolutely um, but I feel like once my vanity is all set up and I'll be able to visually see like it's hard to see stuff when it's just thrown in a bin so I think once I can see everything and really start to like use things again um, I'll be able to declutter some more stuff <laughs> after that but I think I did pretty good for today. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because I think it will be long enough as is. Stay tuned for part two where I actually put together my vanity and organize everything. And let me know down below what you guys like. Do you guys like watching makeup videos? Is that something that you usually watch? Are, are you more like organization, cleaning? Like, tell me what your thoughts are because I really, I love makeup so much that I would love to like start playing with it a little bit more um, and create content with it because I love creating content. I love makeup. It seems like a match that would make sense, but let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Hit the bell so that you're notified of all my future uploads, and we will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.